the champion reveal has been dropped for Yumi the Magical Cat, the new champion that will probably be hitting the PvE next week. As this is dropping Friday, the new PvE cycle will be starting next Tuesday. Now you're probably here for the gameplay and abilities, so I'll jump right into the abilities first, which are as read, the passive, pop and block. Every so often, Yumi's next attack against an opponent restores mana and grants her a shield. If Yumi is attached, the shield protects her ally. The shield protects Yumi or her ally until it's broken. On the Q, Prowling Projectile. Yumi fires a missile that deals magic damage to the first enemy hit. If the missile is in flight long enough, it deals bonus damage and slows enemies. While attached, Yumi fires a missile from her ally's position and can direct the missile's flight path with her mouse. No pun intended. W, you and me, passive. While attached, Yumi and her ally gain a percent of each other's AP or AD converted to adaptive force. Active. Yumi starts with a point in her W. She dashes to an allied champion and attaches to them. While attached, she follows her partner's movements and is untargetable by everything except tower damage. Yumi's abilities fire from her ally's location and she can't attack enemies. She can untach after a cooldown or attach to another teammate with no cooldown. E. Zoomies. Yumi heals and gains a burst of movement speed. If attached, her ally is targeted by a spell instead. This spell has two charges. And her R final chapter. Yumi opens book, launching waves of magic damage that root enemies after multiple hits. While using her ult, Yumi can move, attach to ally champions, and heal. And obviously what we have here, right, is they are an enchanter mage support. Traditionally with mages, there's like the damage ability on the Q. I think the ultimate is kind of interesting. I haven't seen it in motion yet, but it only roots you after multiple hits. So it can't just be one hit, so that might be a little bit more fair to play against because of that. But at the same time, it looks like the W is where a lot of the kit really functions. Being able to attach to allies, being able to be untargetable except by tower damage, however, not being able to attack enemies, and you can't untach immediately, it's only after a cooldown. So if you attach to an ally and they jump into something dumb, like diving a tower with no minions or something, you're kind of just stuck there for a little bit until the cooldown happens, so maybe that's how it's like balances it out, right? So that being said, for the gameplay itself, it looks like in the gameplay trailer that they actually released alongside with this, in fact, they can kind of dash around, so people have made the comparison to Rakan a bit, to multiple allies and stuff like that, attach to them, use the projectile to slow people down, in the particular trailers like Rise, a couple of Yordles like Tristana and Poppy, that they're going in and actually doing combos, and Yumi's kind of facilitating their ability to do stuff. Of course, they also have a heal too, so that's also pretty interesting. So we will see where this champion lands going forward. Obviously, like I said, they are a support enchanter mage. People will probably try and play them in other roles and stuff like that. So we'll have to wait and see. And obviously in the comment section down below, let's have a discussion. What do you think about this champion now that they have been revealed? You know, so are you excited as a support player? Are you excited as any other kind of player? Because you want to take them into other roles, see what they can do there and stuff like that. Obviously, if the damage, if the Q can do damage, maybe if you build them full AP, death cap, it does a lot of damage. Who knows, right? Experiment. With that being said, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But I don't know which video will be next, because I can have a lot of kinks. So until this time, take care. GG, get jinx. Thank you for watching, and enjoy pizza responsibly.